And so this is just how to visualize the different um, progression through your map. Hello there, and, and today we're going to uh, work on a, uh, start working on a platforming game. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is create a, just an overworld map and show you how to, you know, like Super Mario uh, World where uh, you go from point to point or uh, Shovel Knight. So we, we're going to do some things just to show you how to, to make it visual. Um, we'll, add, we'll add better visuals uh, later as we progress through this uh, project. but. Um, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just create a, a room. We're going to call it the map room. And update all the parameters. Make it a dark room to begin with. Yeah, I like a little darker than that. All right, so we're going to create a couple sprites here. Um, a map point. And we're going to create a different uh, colors of the same image that represent different things. So this will be uh, the first, it'll be white as if you can't get there. Uh, let's see, what can we make it yellow if you can get there. Right now, I'll make it green if you've. Uh, completed the level. We'll just go ahead and center it, create an object, and in our initialization, give it an index, and, and you'll see what that's for in a little bit. That's for our figuring out what we're going to, how we're going to determine whether or not it's, we visited it or completed the level, or it's been unlocked. So number, um, oh, and image speed. We don't want it flashing. We're going to do create a secondary thing here and create a link between the two objects. I think that's a brighter color than the original, I think. No, it's the same. All right. <coughs> So we now have a link that we can create between the two, and we're going to keep this at zero zero because it's easier to manipulate on the map. Oh, uh, should be a sprite. So in our map, once we get some better map but for right now we're just talking about creating the, the links and the points within a map so we'll add some points and I'll just use alt to make it in the middle there and then uh, to line it up doesn't have to be perfect uh, for what we're doing All right, and make sure we have the correct, go up here to the lists and make sure we have the correct number. Uh, we have, should be have six points and five links. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, make sure you don't have extras in there. And we're gonna go to each one of these and in the creation code, we're actually gonna assign it information. So the first one, is going to be the zero one. Make this one. All right, and that's going to separate each one of these uh, so we can manipulate them. We're now going to create a Basically, a map controller, a map point controller. I guess we'll call it that. 
And within here, we're going to create a DS list. Let's see, map for the point DS list and the map link. We want to keep the if we leave the var on there, it's not going to be part of this object. So we want to just go ahead and keep it part of this object so when it's created, it exists. Um, if this object gets destroyed, we want to clean up our list. Oh, actually, don't need that. Silly me. Need an extra line in there. So you can see it, clean up lists, create our lists. And here, we're going to go ahead and initialize it for right now. Um, we'll probably do it somewhere else, but. And we're going to add, <clears throat> and so this after this point, so we're going to add values for each one of our one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can just add six points because we're going to have six points there. And then here we have five links and we're going to add this. So one equals, one equals uh, unlocked, two is locked, and, or zero is locked. And then two is going to be um, completed. So like we've completed it and we can move on. And so you know when you're gonna when you can go revisit it again. So now we are gonna go back to our room and go ahead and add this controller. So our to the top. So when we enter the room, our controller starts. So really we haven't done anything other than create um a list of links. What we're going to want to do is actually uh change it based on the information we have. We're going to set this map We're going to loop through each point that we have and determine uh, what color it should be. And then we're going to uh, if it's a one, we're going to change the color if, and then uh, We'll do it again. Actually, I think what we can do here is if it's greater than one, greater than zero, we will actually call our other, our next function. And we're going to pass it index or the the index and the value. Open that back up again. It's highlighted in red because we don't actually have that function yet. So we're going to add that function now. So we're gonna, we will, uh, I can spell right. All right, let's see here. Find the map size. All right, we're going to set the map point. All right, so find the instance of we're going to do the number of instances, the list of the map points, and we've passed in which image we have uh, are going to look at. And then we're going to do a similar loop. And for each one, we're going to check the value of it. And then we're going to take the last argument and set it to that. So 
I'm going to duplicate this one and do, use it as a link. And we're going to do this again for the links, the link. All right, so let's run, run this to make sure it shows up correctly. All right, so it did not, oh, because we are not calling this. So let's go ahead and try to call this. And figure out, oh, we do instances there, and here we do instances over here. Try it again. Yeah, there, so this would be valid. Um, let's go ahead and say we've completed this one. So yeah, so once you complete it, you can go to the next one. I think, uh, Yeah, you can't see it very well. It's already there. So let's go ahead and say we've completed the two. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so if you completed, uh, you know, when we finish the level, you'll save the information that you've completed it or it's available to the next one. And so this is just how to visualize the different um, progression through your map, um, how many you've completed or done. So next time we'll go over uh, saving, uh, saving the information so you can uh, progress through the game. Um, until next time, good luck.